Yes, as always, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you talk about storylines in this one. I think it begins and ends with our two quarterbacks, certainly two of the best in the business. And nowadays, I don't think you can get by for long periods of time without a top flight quarterback. The way the game is played, with all the responsibility he has and how the game flows through him, if he's not on the top of his game, your team's not going to benefit at all. Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And we are underway from Miami. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. The Falcons take over first and 10 at their own 29-yard line. To throw right away, here's Montana. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far. It's second down. Now a second and ten. Operating out of the gun. Here's Montana. And the Dolphins rush gets home. Down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. All right, partner, I'm going to be captain obvious right here. Not the start you're looking for offensively, right? Incomplete pass followed by a sack. And when he went down, it looked like that right ankle got turned, but thankfully he popped up okay, and they breathed a sigh of relief on that sideline. Eluding the pressure right. And he's going to go down again. Julius Peppers, yes, he still has it. Give him the sack. What a great job getting pressure here on the first drive. Three plays and already two sacks. And that pressure has been intense right from the beginning. And I'm telling you, if they don't make an adjustment in play calling and protection, it'll go from intense to relentless. And it's fielded at the 34. A solid stiff arm. A nice work on the return as he gets about 15 yards back. And it'll be Dolphin football. Good starting field position for the Dolphins as they have it first and 10. Just shy of midfield at the 48. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. At the 47-yard line. Now run straight ahead with Warren. And he's down right around midfield after a gain of two, maybe three. Sometimes you're aligned perfectly and the play comes to you. And sometimes you got to cover some ground to go make the play as we just saw there. We saw a great, great example of perseverance right there on that play. Got to be careful. They might want to throw one over his head as this game progresses. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's got this down a yard or two shy of the 40 before he's out of bounds. A 10-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Dolphins first down. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man, -man, maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Unlock light! Unlock light! A handoff for Warren. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. And that's Tavius Robinson who made that play defensively. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. Let's go. Reload. Reload. On the give. 
It's Warren. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three. And now it's third down. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness. He's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. Blitz coming and down he goes. That sack courtesy of Jack Campbell. It always helps for a visiting team to come in and set the tone on defense. In fact, when we talked with them prior to the game, they said they wanted this home crowd to feel like they had to hide their valuables when they were in town. <laughs> well, the home crowd quiet now early. See if their offense can take over and get some points on the board. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the Falcons will get it first and 10 from deep in their own territory. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And they'll certainly be trying to do better than that first drive where they went three and out. And sometimes the first drive is just simply to settle nerves. You know what it's like at the start of a game with the emotion. Guy's a little I bit jumpy. Know, you do. Oh, you, you understand the same thing. Just like us calling one, right? Making sure we ease into the game, let it come to us. Well, you went and three and out. And now they have that opportunity. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't go three and out. I went three and out on that first drive. I'll try to do better here. First rep of the game for Josh Jacobs. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. No score after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, Falcon football. As they've got it second and seven. Play fake. Now here's Montana. He will find his man Chase complete. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 43. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. The first throw for the backup, Jackson. Collins, 38 yards. And the Falcons post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. Well, you know he can be explosive, and he's ultra-explosive there on the fly route. And you know how many times we've talked to coaches and we've had to quote it back to us, well, you know something? When you execute really well, it doesn't matter if they know it's coming or not. But well, sometimes athleticism beats you as well. He just took off and went. Hey, that's almost like one of your turkey bowl games, isn't it? <laughs> Just go long, Backyard. man. I'll hit you. And it worked really well for them. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. <laughs> They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. Wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Here's one. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Hey, hey, check that. They'll run it, Warren. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7 nothing ball game. Go, 
But how about this one now? In their own territory, a gutsy call. They're going to go for this on fourth and a yard. They'll try and run for it. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Off the play fake, Vic. Now a quick throw there, but it's going to be incomplete. To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. Vic with the incompletion on first down, and now that leads to second and ten. Here's Michael Vick. There's the former Falcon star, Julio Jones, with the grab. He's got his first catch here before halftime, and it goes for a first down. Well, sometimes it doesn't appear like much. The out route can be very dangerous when you throw it to a guy like Julio Jones. If you try and undercut it, he can turn into a big play. The reason he's able to get it so often is because of his ability to push people deep and have to respect that. And he's taken down inside the 30. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Again, it's Vic. This to the tight end, Kincaid. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. On the run, it's Warren. And strong running there as he's inside the 10 and down the 8-yard line. Facing a second and six from the eight. Now a run with Warren. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll be a loss of a couple on the play. So now third down coming up. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Vic. He's got it. Touchdown, Dolphins. Calvin Ridley as the first half is winding down. And the Dolphins have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. So a late touchdown here just before the half, and that obviously changes the dynamic of this game. He had a couple ways, partner, because they've been shut out up until this point. So now at least they go into the locker room and Uncle Mo may be creeping over to their side to talk to him a little bit. And second, they're right back in the football game, an extra point away from tying things up. 18, Pioneer, 79 Broncos. Ready? They'll try and throw for it. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. The Atlanta offense out there for their next drive. And with only nine seconds remaining, and not much time, we'll see how they play this. Jackson's throw caught by Alave. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. And you see the clock almost empty, so this is likely the last play in the second quarter. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. Downfield, and he's got Alave. And they'll get this well past midfield before being stopped just before the 35. That's it for the first half. Two more quarters to go. We'll have plenty more to see after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Dolphins in front, and they'll be in possession of the football first as the second half gets started. 
From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. Now this game, it has obviously been all about the defense on both sides of the football. Which offense is going to break through here? We'll see if they can do it on this drive. And he'll get what he can up the middle, three yards. That'll bring up second down. Here's second and seven. They'll keep it on the ground. It's Warren, and he's upended after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Vic with the incompletion there on third down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Now Vic on fourth down. And to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Dolphins first down. The defense a little lax there. They give up nine on fourth and four. And that's a big pickup of a first down. And you know that all week, both sides of the ball, offense and defense, are going through every situation. And in this case, the offensive guys had the right play dialed up because defensively, you work on fourth down situations as well. And deflating for the defense. They can't get the stop here. Takes it to about the 37. Here's a second down and seven from the 37. Up the middle they go. Warren. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. The Miami first down, that one going for a gain of 11. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Two first downs have him up near midfield now on first and ten. Vic goes play action. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Nice progress down the field was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. On second down, it's Warren. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 43 yards on the ground for him now as he's done that on 15 carries. Looks to me like maybe there's a little attrition setting in with this drive. Because when you see that type of a run, I get the feeling the defense is getting a little bit tired. And that's the last thing they need, especially when they look up at the scoreboard. From Falcon territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Roll, roll, roll. Now a handoff up the middle. Warren, and he's got it to about the 40. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. They follow up the gain of two with a gain of one that time. Not much on that run, Charles. No, that's exactly the way to execute a run blitz there. They guessed correctly that they would move the ball on the ground, honed in on it, and stopped him. Mark that down for a win in the defense's column. Vick's throw taken in by Ridley here. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. They'll run on first down. It's Warren. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. So the scoring dried up here in the third. Nothing that quarter for either side. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Now a second and six. Let's go. 
They'll keep it on the ground. One. Just a couple on the pickup there, and now it's third down. Typically, we think it's the strong safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage amidst traffic. But in this case, how about the free safety coming up and making the big-time play? Trap 60! Trap 60! Now here's Vic. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. And here's a big one now. Try to hold this lead. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. Vic readies to throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man to play. Touchdown, Dolphins! Dolan Kincaid, a 20-yard touchdown. And the Dolphins get an important score there to extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. And what a weapon he is at the tight end spot, because when they throw him the football downfield, they count on him getting additional yardage almost every time. And that's exactly what he did there. Caught that, ran with it, all the way to the end zone. So now a big play here as the Dolphins will go for the two. They'll look to throw. And he will get into the end zone. It's two points and also a two-score advantage as the lead swells to nine. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. This taken in at the goal line. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Hey, hey. Hey, middle, middle, middle. Now Jackson. And he'll find Chase on the right side, complete. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Here's Jacobs on first and 10. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Meanwhile, Jackson's throw into the hands of Fan. And the Falcons are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six yard line. Here's Jacobs. And he is into the end zone for a Falcon touchdown. Josh Jacobs, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Falcons have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Atlanta's 11 ready to go, and they kick it away. And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. Get it! The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. 
And with that last touchdown, I mean, we're set up for a good finish here. Some things to consider, Charles. Obviously, it's a very close game here in the fourth quarter. Defensively, they've got all three timeouts in their back pocket. So the chess match really ramps up, doesn't it? Because in these situations, what do you do? Do you run the ball and kill the clock here? Or do you try and bury them with another score? And how about defensively? Do you use your timeouts to lose opportunity? Or wait till you hit the two-minute warning? So there's a lot going into this one. Let's see how each side goes about their strategy. On third down, it's Warwick. Now he's free at the 35. He may go. And all the way in for the Miami touchdown. Jalen Warren, 70 yards. And the Dolphins used a big play to extend their fourth quarter lead. Selling out of here to doing stadiums. Gold diggers don't come around, they don't survive my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's the name you. That's what 